Is Monster Hunter World worth buying in 2019? Oddly enough, that's a question I hear more than I thought I would. With such a fantastic game that I put so many hours into, it's never really crossed my mind that people have been holding off. But why is that? Well, I'm Tuna, one of the Monster Hunter Math Guys, and this is my review of Monster Hunter World. Monster Hunter World is the newest entry in a long series of games that puts you and your friends against a plethora of huge monsters that will fight tooth and nail to put you into the ground. You start with overgrown lizards and work your way up to exploding lions and angry hedgehogs. There's a real sense of progression of self when you play this game. Give someone the best weapon and armor, and they'll still find themselves in a pickle if they aren't up to the task. Much like Dark Souls, true progression is measured in your knowledge of the monster and your weapon's tactics, rather than the equipment you carry on your back. Speaking of Dark Souls, when Demon Souls was first released, many people compared it to Monster Hunter because of its similar gameplay loop. The game focuses on getting your pants beat off over and over and over again until you finally understand the fight well enough to claim victory. Your reward is the cathartic pleasure of slaying the thing that caused you so much trouble in the first place. And to slay those monsters, you have a total of 14 different weapons in the game. But don't think they're all watered down. Each weapon has as much complexity and mechanics involved as your standard weapon in any average RPG. Sometimes, so in-depth, they require their own user manual. Charge Blade. Fear not, though. There are plenty of fun and interesting weapons to hop right into and get to work with. If you're looking for a starter weapon, I'd recommend the hammer for melee and light bowgun for ranged. If you don't find the one that's right for you the first time, you can easily swap into another without needing to respec, since your stats are tied to your gear. Great if you want to try another playstyle without fear of regrinding another character. While there isn't much of a story admittedly, the game's cinematic experience and its actual gameplay rivals that of even the most action-packed cutscenes in modern gaming. There are moments in the game that you could do the coolest shit. One of my favorite moments was when I ran up a wall to dodge a laser and mounted a monster by sliding down her horns with my sword. Any other game would have had a pre-made cutscene with a quick time event, but you truly feel like you're responsible for all the actions you do in Monster Hunter. One main complaint I've heard is that there's a lack of content for Monster Hunter World compared to its predecessors with less than 30 large monsters to fight on launch, not including Zora and Xeno. The game had a rather lackluster roster for a steep price of $60 new. Monster Hunter, surprisingly, has always been about hunting monsters, and when there aren't any new monsters to hunt, the game can feel a bit grindy. However, I would say that now is the perfect time to pick up Monster Hunter World. The game is easy to pick up for less than half its original price. Some veterans of the older series have mentioned that the game is a bit dumbed down from previous entries, but I consider the experience more streamlined. Systems are more accessible than in the past, and most of the information you need is available in the game, rather than compiled in forums. Not to mention the game looks amazing. It's truly a sight to behold. And finally, the best part. Assuming you're still worried about the lack of content, we have Iceborne releasing later this year and the average person should be able to work through the current content in Monster Hunter World just in time to be ready for a whole new expansion. And with new weapons, monsters, areas, and even moves, there's plenty to look forward to later this year. So in conclusion, if you're looking for a fun, challenging game that has plenty of content to master, and you've ever considered getting into Monster Hunter World, now is the perfect time to give World a try. If you made it this far, thank you for checking out the review. This is some new territory for us, so if you like it, let us know. I could maybe put something together for a different game. If you're looking for somebody to hunt with and you're just getting into Monster Hunter, check out our Discord server. We have plenty of people looking to play. We have a Twitter where we post updates to the channel and other things that interest us. I also stream on Twitch, where I play Monster Hunter and other games almost every day. A huge thank you to Ray, Xbonage, Solomon, David, XCLK07, Heika, Milky Powder, Yoshi Cho, John Cowan, Lithoboli, Robin, Bram Orsel, Lightweight, Skylar Yang, Checklum, Lupin, Mongus, Zimv, Billy, Lord Sidonay, Rolfi, Reaper Time, Jamie, and everyone else on Patreon who's been helping support this channel. You guys let these kind of experimental videos happen, so I appreciate it. Uh, we've just started a new Patreon poll for our patrons. 
to decide which meta weapon we'll be putting up next. Currently it looks like Gunlance is in the lead. If you would like to save me from making a Gunlance guide, please consider checking out the Patreon. As always guys, thank you for watching the video, we'll see you in the next one, happy hunting hunters, bye!